Hi guys, Gaft is back in his famous outdoor studio, so the lighting is fantastic. I'm going to show you how this amazing sleight of hand card trick was done. This is not a gimmick build tutorial, but there will be a link in a pinned comment, which will take you to a video where you can make the gimmick. Now the gimmick is not the top of the box gaff, it is the bottom of the box gaff, but the procedure of creating the gimmick is exactly the same. So what I've got is a playing card which looks like a card but on the other side it's got the little tuck box seal so that when the box is closed and that card is on top it is practically invisible. Now you will notice that I've put a bit of the tuck box seal on the box so that when I close the box if a spectator was to notice anything they would see this and then they will see this. Yeah it's a slightly different seal than well, it's not it's the same seal, but you can see a bit of the writing. But it looks the same. So you've got this magnetic bottom of the box card. I've also taken a 25mm hole punch. And I've made the actual uh, semicircle here slightly bigger by putting the hole punch in and clipping it out. Why I've made that bigger is because at some point you're going to have a card under here. The top of the bottom of the box gaff is going to cover it, but because you've got that bigger half moon, you can actually grab hold of the card and pull it up. Oh, I've got two cards. You can pull the card up. Right, I will tell you, I actually came up with the idea for this trick about a week ago, and I tried it out today, and it worked perfectly. So it works in the real world as well as it does on social media. So you're going to make yourself a magnetic card. You're obviously going to put magnets in the box. But like I say, that link will take you to a tutorial on how to build this. It's shown you how to build the top of the box gap, but it's exactly the same. It's just the bottom. And if you haven't got any tuck box seals, if you've got any brand new decks, you can peel the seals off nice and um, gently and you can get your seals off to create this. So what you're going to do is take any card it doesn't matter what this is you're going to place the, the special magnetic card on the top followed by the three of diamonds in my case which is basically a force card this can all go into the box and you're good to go in fact before you do that take any random card it doesn't matter what this is and for demonstration purposes we're going to call this side my left rear pocket and this side is my right rear pocket because you're going to place the box in your pocket in a minute. So you've got this card, which doesn't matter what this is, it's irrelevant, it's a red herring, in your left rear back pocket and the box is going to go in your left right back pocket. Back left, no, your back right pocket, back left pocket, you know, left and right. I'm getting confused. Right, let me just show you something that mental is going to freak you guys out. Take the cards out. Do the box up and put it in your pocket. And I'm going to put it in my pocket so this is against my butt cheek like that. Um, I'm going to get the spectator to um, just pick any card. I mean, if you want to, you can turn these cards over. Make sure you don't flash. You've got this card on the bottom. And give them a Hindu shuffle if you want, just to mix the cards up. And say so you've got a free choice to pick any card. Let's say they pick this one. Now, the reason for getting them to this next bit i'm going to take this off place it on the top and say look if you guess correctly what this top card is i will tell you when I, at the end of the trick how the trick was done that's just a reason for not getting the spectator to take a card out and look at it straight away because you're going to force this three of diamonds so they're going to go through take it just touch the back of any card you want right before we turn this over if you can guess correctly what this card is at the end of the night, I'll show you how this trick was done. They're going to say the seven of clubs. Turn it over and show them it was the three of diamonds. Basically, you're doing a double lift, but you've got a hard card here, so it's practically impossible not to get a double lift. Um, it is very important to get this card signed because they're not going to believe that it's the same card coming out the box in a minute if it's not signed. So make sure you've got your Sharpie. Hold the card, say, look, while I hold the card, just sign the card for me. They're going to scribble on it. We're going to do another double, turn it over. 
break off the bottom portion, slide off the top card. They think this is their card. Drop the rest of the cards on top. I mean, you can spread the cards at this point if you want. Oh, I will say, because I did this trick at work today, I did it on a scruffy, dirty table. I've got mud or dirt in the card so they don't fan properly. But you can spread the cards and say, look, your card is somewhere in the pack. You'll now just do a little bit of bullshit sleight of hand. Now, would you be impressed if my sleight of hand is so good that in that instant, your card, I took your card out of the deck and I put it in my pocket. They're going to think no chance. So what you're going to do now, you're going to reach into your back pocket. You're going to pull out the deck, place it on the top and um, say, oh, sorry, wrong pocket. You're going to place this down now. What you've done is you've stolen their chosen three of diamonds. You're going to say, look, I reach into my pocket. Oh, wrong pocket. Place the box down, reach into your other pocket and then pull out this card. Now, wouldn't it be crazy if this was your signed Ace of Spades? Oh, it wasn't the Ace of Spades, was it? Oh, bugger. That's just a red herring. Take a bit of the heat off the box. And now you'll just say, look, my sleight of hand is so good. In that instant, your card, I took it out of the box, out of the deck, and I put it into the box. You can now pick up the box, rotate it this way so they cannot see anything. I mean, there's nothing to see anyway. I mean, when you do this... When you've stolen, right, I've reached into my pocket. Would you be impressed if I could take out your card? Oh, there's the box, sorry. Place it aside, reach into your other pocket, show them the ace. That wasn't your card, was it? I mean, you could even fan these cards out and say, is your card here? It's not here, but my sleight of hand is so good. I actually put the card in the box. I mean, you can flash the bottom again. Now, what are they going to see? They're going to see the bottom of the box with the card seal. So what you're going to do is take the box open up the flap and where you can see you've got this you can see the card you can grab hold of it making sure that this top box seal stays up like this so they can't see anything and you can literally pull this card out the box you could place this down like this if you want today i placed the box down like this he didn't have a clue didn't even look at the box and when you know it out of the box comes your three diamonds so that is the trick guys it's just the bottom of the box gaff and I've made this slightly bigger so that I can easily grab hold of it from the inside. And I'm holding this back as well. I can slide this card seemingly out of the box. So let me know what you think. Like I say, in the pinned comment, there will be a tutorial link to building the gimmick and uh, have fun. Cheers.